Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedy, back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I have some absolutely massive global breaking news for you guys. So, after literally years of waiting and so much speculation, Dokkaner has finally let us know on Twitter today that the Dragon Ball Heroes units are officially making their way to the global side of the game. And the tweet says, Good news, everything seems to be unlocked for the arrival, finally, of Super Dragon Ball Heroes on the global SDBH or Super Dragon Ball Heroes world mission and its portal or banner should be the next event on the global to take conditional as usual as long as it is not clearly indicated in game. So of course he always has to put in that little disclaimer because Nothing is guaranteed unless we see the official announcement in the game. But you know, Dokener typically is pretty on point with these things, so I'd say there's a very good chance, but of course, um, it's not 100%, so keep that in mind. But either way, guys, I am freaking pumped about this news. This is something that, as a global main from day one, I kind of thought was never gonna happen. And you know, when Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission first came out and it was first announced, I was like, okay, this is it. It's gonna happen with the worldwide release, the global release of a Heroes game. We're finally gonna get those Heroes units. And then one month passed, and two months passed, and three months passed. And I was just like, okay, if it's not gonna happen now, it's never gonna happen. And I just literally resigned myself to the fact that we're never gonna get the Heroes units on global. And I am so glad that I was wrong because I actually really want those guys. So uh, this is just awesome, awesome news guys. Super, super pumped and uh, I just can't wait. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be summoning on this banner when it drops because <sighs> I just gotta have them, man. I love Heroes as a franchise, I love it as a game. I love the concepts behind all these unique characters and uh, I, I can't wait. I'm very, very excited, super, super pumped. And um, one thing I did want to mention, of course, is he specifically said it's going to be the Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission banner, which is the most recent Heroes banner that was dropped on JP, and I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like. So this is the banner that he's referring to, if it is in fact the World Mission banner, and it came with these units specifically. So we got, or they got on JP, a uh, new Xeno Vegeta, a new Xeno Goku, um, the main villain for World Mission, whose name I still can't pronounce properly, so I'm not going to say it right now in case people get mad. But here's the bad guy, and uh, we have the Great Saiyan Man number 3. I think it's Great Saiyan Man 3. Yeah, Great Saiyan Man 3, whose identity is... Uh, well, I, I won't say it because just in case you haven't played the game and you want to know for yourself or find out for yourself. Uh, Great Saiyan Man 3, we have Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, who is part of an older batch of Heroes units. And uh, also Tower of Darkness Toa, who people might want for the design alone. <laughs> um, not gonna say more than that. And also Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. Now, to be honest, I've actually never used any of these units personally because I don't really play JP. But based on the research that I've done and also some videos that I've watched, they're all pretty damn good units, especially this guy and Great Saiyan Man 3. Now these two units are incredibly, incredibly strong and for that reason alone, for these two units alone, I think this banner is definitely worth the summon. And there's also the Xeno Vegeta and Xeno Goku who are very solid support units for Goku's family and Vegeta's family respectively. And they don't even have their Dokkan Awakenings yet, so once they get those, they're also going to be extremely good as well. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of great value on this banner. I think it's definitely worth the summon. I personally, like I said, will be summoning for sure. And if the banner we're getting soon does end up being the world mission banner, then this should be what we see as far as the featured pool goes. But I'm actually not like 100% sure about that because there's still a lot of heroes units, like older heroes units that we're missing. So maybe they'll change it up to include some more of the older ones or Maybe not, I'm not really sure, but this is the most recent banner that we saw on JP as far as Heroes units go. And I'll show you guys the older Heroes banners as well, just for reference. And I'm pretty sure that the first ever Dragon Ball Heroes banner to drop on JP was this one that you see right here on the screen. And I'm not 100% sure about that, but I did go back 
into the history of uh, banners on JP and this was the first Heroes banner I could find. So I think this was the first ever one to come out and it featured these four units right here. And I'm not gonna say their name specifically because I'm actually not like super familiar with Heroes units even though I did play the game. Um, so there's these guys. I know this is Super Saiyan 3 adult uh, Go Tanks. Um, I'm not really sure what form of PyCon this is. I'm not really sure. This is like baby Janemba, I think. And this looks like a Bobbity Boo hybrid, but um, I'm not 100% sure what they call him. So I'm not gonna try to say like the actual name, but it came with these four characters right there. So I believe that was the first batch of Heroes characters. And the second batch was this one. And as you can see, uh, this was, so three, all three of these actually were recently featured on the newest Heroes banner, the World Mission banner on JP. And uh, some other ones that came with them are the old four from the first banner, plus the three new ones, the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Adult Gohan, the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, which is not loading, there we go, and also the Tower of Darkness Toa. And then for the next batch of characters, they actually brought in quite a few new ones. So we got this uh, Vegeta here. I'm not sure what his actual like specific name in Heroes is. Uh, we have this Dark Masked King. We have uh, this guy, I forgot his name. And uh, we have a bunch of other characters. I think the one that uh, people are very excited about is this Supreme Kai of Time for certain reasons that I'm not gonna get into. But uh, she's actually pretty solid as a unit, so definitely want to get her at some point. And so we got the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku. And I think that pretty much brings us back to, uh, yeah, the most recent Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission banner. So there you go, guys. Those were all the Heroes units that were released on JP. And uh, according to Dokener, we should be getting this banner next on Global. And once again, it's not 100% guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed until it is announced in the game. But there's a good chance because Dokener is pretty on point with these things uh, a lot of the time. And um, I'm sure at some point we'll get the other units as well. Like, uh, you know, the Supreme Kai of Time and Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and so on and so forth. But uh, that's all the news I have for you guys today. I am, once again, super, super excited, super, super pumped. Something I didn't expect to ever happen um, after, you know, we got this game coming out globally and just no news after that. I thought it was just, like my hopes, I thought they were just dead. Like I just, ah, man, I'm so happy. So, so freaking happy. Hope you guys are excited as well, my fellow global players. And uh, yeah, that's, all I gotta say, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if any more information comes out about the specific featured units or anything like that, I will keep you guys posted, but <laughs> that's it guys. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.